What was that? That's what Mike does. Yeah. Yeah. What was he, Baz? Nathan, <clears throat> fight number 10 coming up down at Victoria, uh, sorry not Victoria, Blackpool yeah. at uh, Winter Gardens. Um, your opponent Antonio Souza, yeah. do you know much about him? Watched a few clips from him on YouTube, but very limited footage to be honest. He's, um, former, he's done a lot of kickboxing, MMA and uh, K1. I think he's had 10, 1 5 or 1 4. His record, something like that. So, watch yeah, I think, I think he's had uh, 10 fights, yeah, 1 4, lost yeah. 5, drawn 1. Oh, there you go. So, um, but I mean, it, you, you've developed yourself into a, a fantastic situation. I think you're ranked number 6 in Britain yeah, now. That's right, yeah. Uh, obviously, everyone who's above you is probably. You know, maybe on European and world level. Knock on the door, world titles, and everyone above me. So, but that that British title is still free. Yeah, still vacant. You know, it's a title I'd love to fight for. At the end of the day. And, and do you think that's something that perhaps could be happening I early next so. year? I hope so. Definitely. You know, at 21. So I've still got a lot of maturing to do. Some heavyweights don't peak till the 30s, do they? No. So hell of a lot of maturing to do. Well, I noticed on uh, was it on Twitter, on Facebook, or something when. Um, uh, Daniel Dubois, yeah. he uh, he took, stopped David Howe in uh, one round, yeah. and you just put on there, done it before. Right, I was the first person to do it, wasn't I, in one <laughs> round, so been there, done that one, haven't I? And he's a giant of a man as well, isn't he? What was he, six foot ten or something? David Howe, six foot ten, eighteen and a half stone, he's a massive man, isn't he? So, but obviously, these are, you know, because you've got to look at the guys really below you before yeah. you can progress into those yeah, top six above you. And uh, I know he's just ranked, uh, I think he's ranked about 14th that present. But that might be a fight that sometime towards the end of next year, that could be a fight that actually might even be for the British title. You never know. You never say never in boxing, you never know what could happen. I said this at the last press conference, you know, a fight down the line between me and him is bound to happen. Two unbeaten prospects. Both young kids on the block. Both young fellas. At the end of the day, who wins that fight proceeds to British and European world level, don't they? Right. Well, I'm going to film this way in, and hopefully I'll be chatting to you with uh, your, your win numbers in double figures, mate, hopefully, and, mate, and maybe eight stoppages. Hopefully, mate. Definitely. All right, kiddo. Cheers. Take care, mate. Bye. 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 <laughs>